Hi guys, it's Monday. I'm at Molly's house today. Hi. Um, she's just being my backrest because I'm lazy and she was gonna sit there. Hello, Matilda. Would you like to meet Molly's cat? I'm just gonna be ADD today because oh, come here, Matilda. Come here, sweetie. Meow. <laughs> she's so Hi. cute. Hi. Say hello to the internet, Matilda. It will get you famous. She's a star. You're purring. You're so loud. We just lay down all our stuff, Matilda. You classy cat. None of you guys made videos last week for shame, but that's okay because now I don't have to talk about anyone but myself again. Um, <laughs> you. It, oh, I don't have that much to say except for my campers were really, really cute last week. And yeah, that's basically all that I did last week and tech crew. And the guy on Tech Crew, I'm pretty sure I was telling you, I don't remember if I told you guys, yes, I did tell you about this, because yeah. we just rewatched my video. Um, the guy on Tech Crew who was proposing to his girlfriend, he did it on Friday, and she said yes, and it was really, really cute, because it, it was just adorable, and ah, <laughs> I love you, Molly. I love you, too. Yes. And I just finished Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, and it was really, really, really good. Why, oh, thank you, Molly. You're like this third arm that does all this stuff. It's marvelous. There's also the possibility that I might be stage managing shows this year, which is nice, because I'm going to be a junior. And I was also figuring out how I'm getting to my secondary school this year, because the original plan was that I was going to drive myself, and so I had to figure out parking permits, but then I won't have a car. So I'm actually going to take the bus there. So I have to take, I have to get myself to my home high school and then take the bus to the secondary high school. So that will be fun. But I don't know what I'm. I, I really don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> yes. That just looks like I've got like random things growing out of my arm, Molly. It looks like I've got like growths or something. I'm a tumor. <laughs> <laughs> like, wow, you can see my tan line. Oh, you should see mine. Oh my gosh, I have a neck one. I didn't even know what I was talking about in this video. Molly, do you remember? Yourself. That's helpful. Yeah? Well, nobody else posted anything. This was, uh... You could talk about your boring book. Oh, yes! Uh, River of Doubt, yes. Yeah. It's about Theodore Roosevelt, and it's required reading for, um, the secondary school I'm going to, and... Supposedly, it is they like legitimately be, when they send out the letter saying like, okay, this is one of the books you have to read, and then you get a choice book for the other one. And on the thing they were writing about this about this book, this is the required one. They legitimately said, uh, if the first half is boring, skim it and go skip to the second half. That's how boring the first half is. It's like it if it's so boring, why are you making us read it? But that's okay. My brother was looking at it, I was like, yeah, that's the one, one and only book that can make Theodore Roosevelt boring. <laughs> so, yes. Takes talent. Yeah, I know. Um, I have climbed him again tonight, and hopefully I won't peel all my calluses off, because that was sort of painful. Oh, Thursday night, I slept on a picnic bench, because I was too lazy to set up a tent, and I didn't want to sleep inside, because inside is really hot. So I slept in my sleeping bag on a picnic bench without like mosquito netting or anything and so I have a ton of mosquito bites like all over my hands and my legs and I got one like between my fingers which I didn't know was possible and then I've got like two on the back of my hand and I got one on my pinky somehow like underneath oh. Molly do you have anything interesting to add? Uh... Nope, okay <laughs> Oh I know! For your punishment I was thinking we should do something like athletic or sporty because it's the Olympics on Friday and I'm missing the opening ceremony for Tech Crew. Yeah, I know. But that's you watch them struggle through one hundred push ups. <laughs> yeah? They can take as much time as they need, but they have to record all one hundred. Uh, Molly, some of us are in the circus. I had no, to do no, no no no. It can take them like three days. But you have to do one hundred. <laughs> like individually. That's Molly's suggestion for you guys' punishment. And you can do it in fun places, too, you guys. This is going to be so much fun. I had to do 45 push-ups last Monday because there was 30 loud feet or poor form or whatever when we were traversing, <laughs> and then we had to do 15 push-ups because one guy was 15 minutes late. Ooh. The entire team. 
Anyway, this is almost six minutes, so you guys, DFTBA and Alex, I will see you tomorrow if you guys remember to make a video. Uh...